From these two papers of User and Reese, along with the precedent work made by Bernard Katz and other scientists that have covered, such as Rodolfo Linas, it solidified the idea that the quanta are vesicles that are released upon a calcium signal and that after their exocytosis, they are recycled through endocytosis. As time went by and the technology used in biology exponentially grew, many more molecular studies about the proteins involved in the life cycle of a vesicle have allowed scientists to come up with a general model of what the cycle is. The vesicle cycle begins with neurotransmitter uptake. For small molecules such as acetylcholine, the uptake is facilitated by an active transport mechanism. The vesicles have a vacuolar type proton ATPase, more commonly referred to as a V-ATPase, that uses the energy generated by the hydrolysis of ATP to pump protons in the vesicle. Respective transporters for the neurotransmitter then use the energy source of the proton gradient made by the V-ATPase to get neurotransmitters inside through an antiport mechanism. The transporters are specific to the neurotransmitter. For example, the transporter for acetylcholine, the vesicular acetylcholine transporter, is different from the vesicular glutamate transporter, which imports glutamate, another neurotransmitter we will cover later. The filled vesicles are then moved into a reserve pool just outside the active zone. A protein named synapsin holds the reserve pool stable by cross-linking the vesicles together. Synapsins are substrates of two kinases, protein kinase A and calcium calmodulin-dependent protein kinase. Upon phosphorylation by the kinases, the synapsins are released from the vesicles and allow the vesicles to enter the next step. The filled vesicles that move near the plasma membrane that are not held together at the reserve pool undergo docking and priming to the membrane. Given the stability of the plasma membrane, it takes a lot of energy to fuse the vesicles. To overcome this energy, vesicles form large protein complexes with the membrane. One of the most important and recurrent classes of proteins that mediate the fusion are referred to as snare proteins and constitute the core machinery that performs fusion. Snare proteins come in two main types depending on where they are. Snares that are on the vesicles are referred to as V-snares and if they are on the target membrane for fusion, they are referred as T-snares. Each synaptic vesicle has a V-snare called synaptobrevin, and in this case, the target membrane is the plasma membrane, and it has two distinct T-snares, syntaxin and SNAP25. At the docking stage, the snare proteins all collectively bind together to form a tight alpha helical coiled coil complex. Another important protein in the system, named MONK18, binds to the complex and allows its formation. Normally, this complex on its own can fuse the vesicle to the membrane, but a protein named complexin joins the complex and prevents that spontaneous fusion. From what we've discussed, given that calcium is the signal for vesicle release, the system must have a protein that couples the influx of calcium to the fusion process. The class of proteins that mediate the signal are part of the synaptotagments, which also join the complex. Now that the vesicle is docked and primed for fusion, it sits at the membrane waiting for calcium. Remember that voltage-gated calcium channels are mostly localized at the presynaptic terminal and that calcium is highly concentrated at the extracellular side. The leading hypothesis on how fusion works stipulates that as the action potential comes and depolarizes the terminal, the depolarization opens voltage-gated calcium channels and lets calcium enter. After entry, Calcium binds to the binding sites of synaptotagmin, which dislodges the complex in such a way that complexin is removed and allows the exocytosis and lets the neurotransmitters diffuse in the cleft. As you can see, the system allows the fusion process to be very quick as calcium can enter and immediately cause the fusion of the vesicles. If the vesicles weren't already docked and primed, the delay in chemical transmission would be much higher. After fusion and transmitter release, Calcium will unbind from synaptotagmin and its activity will be terminated by either directly leaving the cell through transporters or by getting buffered by specialized proteins. The calcium entry will also be removed by the repolarization of the cell by voltage-gated potassium channels. Neurons sometimes have to release high amounts of neurotransmitters and to prevent rapid depletion of their stock, it is considerably more convenient for them to directly recycle the vesicles and the proteins associated to them at the axon terminal 
rather than to synthesize the vesicles again way back at the cell body. Regardless of how the vesicles are recycled, the snare complex must be disassembled after fusion by two important proteins, named NSF and SNAP. NSF is an ATPase that binds to the complex via an adapter protein SNAP and dissociates the complex with the energy released by ATP hydrolysis. One common route for vesicle recycling is clathrin-mediated endocytosis. Clathrin is a trimeric protein that binds to the membrane through adapter proteins and assembles into a cage-like structure. This cage-like structure dramatically changes the curvature of the membrane and forms the foundations for a new vesicle that is still associated with the membrane. A protein by the name of dynamin is a GTPase and uses the energy from GTP hydrolysis to pinch off the membrane by forming a ring around the lipid stalk. This subsequently frees the clathrin coat vesicle. The clathrin coat can then be removed by other proteins such as HSC70 and oxalin. From there, the free vesicle can either directly get refilled and restart the cycle or it can join the endosome. From the endosome, a new vesicle can form and get filled with transmitters and restart the cycle from there. Another possible route for recycling is through the reversible fusion pore mechanism, which occurs after the fusion process. Given the high quantity of proteins associated with the vesicle, it is good to ask ourselves how do the vesicle manage to maintain all of these proteins in the next rounds of release if the vesicle totally fuses with the membrane. In the reversible fusion pore mechanism, when the vesicle fuses at step 4, it only fuses partially through an opening called the fusion pore. After snare dissociation, the fusion pore can then rapidly close and reform the vesicle. This process of partially opening the vesicle and then closing is also referred to as a kiss. If, after reformation, the vesicle stays at the membrane, the vesicle is said to do the kiss and stay pathway. If the vesicle goes back to the endosome or gets directly refilled, the vesicle is said to do the kiss and run pathway. Nonetheless, the clathrin mediated vesicle recycling pathway is more commonly taught as being the default mode of recycling, so we will make the same assessment for a model and consider the clathrin mechanism as our default. With this being said, the vesicle cycle as we know it looks a bit like this. In summary, a lot of proteins are involved at each step of the vesicle cycle and they each have their role to play to make the vesicle cycle an efficient process. Any deficiency in any of these proteins will result in hindered chemical transmission. Obviously, this is not an extensive list and many more proteins contribute to the efficiency of this process. For example, if we consider the proteins on the vesicle, we've only scratched the surface of all the proteins that are there and contribute to the cycle. Thank you for watching this video. If there was anything unclear or there was a mistake somewhere in the video, make sure to let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, you can consider leaving a like and subscribing to support the channel. On the right, you will see the informational resources that I've used to produce this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in our next discussion.